In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CSS font family property to define the font face of text on your page. And we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's head over to the screen capture and learn more about font family. I'll see you there. So on the right hand side here, we have a basic HTML page setup, a heading tag, a paragraph tag, and in the header we have our style tags ready to go. And so on the right hand side, we have what this page currently looks like. And it is using the default font face, which is Times New Roman. I'm gonna inspect this page just to confirm. Hopefully we can find it and we can't. However, the default for most browsers is Times New Roman. And there's a good chance that you're gonna to wanna to deviate from that default, and this is how you do it. Inside your style tags, we're gonna define a selector. So we only have two to choose from, H1 and P. So we're gonna choose the H1, open and close curly brackets, and we're gonna type in the declaration font family, colon. And this allows us to choose the font family for the H1 tag. So we could change this to something like Georgia, for example, which is a font family that's found in pretty much all browsers. Save this page and we're gonna watch this heading. I'm gonna refresh because it's gonna change font. So the font looks almost the same, just got a little thicker and there's little bubbles they added to the Fs, which to make it a little bit different. So that's the Georgia font. Now if we wanted to change the font for the paragraph tag, all we do is type in P for the selector, open and close curly brackets, type in font family like we did just now, and this can be something like Verdana, which is a sans serif font. Sans serif just means these extra little lips that are on the letters aren't there. And if we refresh this page, we'll see that this is now Verdana without those little lips on the edges of letters. And that's all there is to changing the font family. It's pretty easy. You just have to make sure you select the right elements and pick the right font. That's all there is to CSS font family. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos over here to learn more about code and get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.